Look at these guys. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Hey, there's my baby. There's my baby. Let's do it. Let's get her ready. Oof. Some nice sport fishes. Look at that. So what do you guys think? Black bottom, blue bottom. Black bottom, blue bottom. Black and blue all over the place. As you can tell by the lack of it's much better wind noise today. The weather's better, the temperature's better. So today I'm gonna start working on the bottom paint, finish scraping, um, get the bottom prepped, and put some blue on there. Let's take a look at what she looks like right now. So we got, last, last year we painted black over the blue. This year I'll be painting blue over it. So a lot of, a lot of old paint that just, look at that peeling so I'm gonna put something down to protect the floor um, then get rid of all the old paint and on with the new I also got the, the paint for um, for my my props and the skegs get it looking nice and lovely all right here we go it was a bit windy the day before but I was still able to get out there and prep the bottom let's get you caught up Here's a look at the bottom side of Solitude. She's a 1976 Sportfish Pacemaker, 36 footer. So we're gonna get the bottom prepped for painting. Today's too cold, too windy to paint. So what we're doing is scraping the barnacles that were left on there. That's a lot of scraping we have to do. And it's crazy windy out here. So check out the props. They did all right. Good warm up. All right, let's get back to it. Get the paint and the sanding and doing some things. It's the only way to put your legs down on this gravel. Amazon packages. Save the box. Makes your life a lot easier when you're out here scraping these bottles. Look at that. I'm expecting expecting to get some Spongebob quick pants out of one of these barnacles. These guys like, these guys can throw on anything. That's a good one right there. Some barnacle for dinner. Come on, gonna clear out these drains. Whoop, whoop. We're good to go. After scraping up the bottom, it's time to check out the zincs. Look at that. Here's what the new one, this is what it used to look like. These are zincs, I guess they're made in Canada. But you got to undo the bolt, let's put the new one in. Just can't get any paint on there. So it's not painting day today. So I'm going to try to replace the zincs and then I'll just sneak the skinny paintbrush around the back when I'm, when I'm painting it. And this is for the one for the prop shaft. One and three eighths inch for this boat. I thought it was should have been a little bigger. So last year I got the next size up and it was too big. I had to go return them. Yeah, right there. See, so look how cruddy they get. I usually leave one, one of the old ones on there. Whichever one is in better condition. The one that's more aft looks worse. So I'm, I'll be place, replacing that one. Got to remove the bolts with the Allen wrench. There's only two bolts take them off and then sand the metal so that it's nice and clean, just light sanding. You want metal to metal contact on there so the zinc does the job that it's supposed to do. Dragging that cardboard around reminds me of the 1980s break dancing, electric boogaloo. <laughs> you can hear the wind. It's so crazy windy. This is how windy it is. Boink. There goes the camera. Camera just passed out. Knocked out in the wind. Quick fix. And we're back in action.
down. A couple more to go. Look at the difference. I'll show you the old one first and then the new one. So what happens is electricity in the salt water will eat up the zinc anode rather than this damaging your other metals. So it's a sacrificial anode. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Great day to paint the bottom. And it also looks like the early boat gets to slip. While everybody else is still hibernating, we're gonna get solitude ready. Got some boys over here. It's John's boat and uh, Ray's boat. There they are. John didn't cover his boat this year. What's going on? What's up with that, John? How come he didn't cover your boat? Mr. Independence. Hopefully she made out all right. There you go. Looks like Ray might be inside. Got the back door open. All right, let's get ready. It's time to go to work. So I, sometimes I order my paint and it comes in the, this kind of packaging with the base. So I always save that because it makes it easier to move the cans around. And this is what I got at Ace. Got a liner. Of course, I recycle. Got this little spinny thingy hook up to the drill to um, mix my paint. Because that's that stuff's crazy thick to try to do by hand. And you got to have some fishing stuff. All right, let's get going. Don't say nothing about the boat. She's a mess still. There's, look at that, dog's getting ready. Who's in front of me? Hanu Kai. Well, oh, look at the windows need to get clean. But yeah, here's a trick I learned. If you um, keep the, the paint nice and warm, it'll go on. You get much better adhesion. It'll go on so much better. Ah! We're gonna go get things ready. All right, enough fooling around, let's go. Okay, let's see what she looks like. Mmm, it's looking pretty. Stuff is thick. Trying to be very careful to not splash any of the paint on the boat. So I put the liner on the back side. Man, there's just something that is so satisfying watching this paint mix. If you ever try to mix bottom paint by hand, it is a pain in the neck really thick and it takes forever to get it just right. I got a hat on, got some, but I got it on my hair. Woo! Blue stripe for you, all right. It'd be nice to have a broomstick right now to connect. All together, I put on two layers of bottom paint. The first one took a while. The second one went on much quicker. Between that and the zincs, it took about five hours of work. It's getting there. It's getting there little by little. I like the color. Nice color, nice blue. It's gonna look good when it's done. The only purpose of the ablative is just to keep the sea growth off the boat. So for me, it doesn't need to be perfect, perfectly smooth. Um, I think next season, I'll pay someone to sand it, but because I'm not about to sand that whole thing. But for now, I think it's fine. It's multiple layers of bottom paint. Yeah, all of y'all. <laughs> all you guys out there that are pretty particular you're gonna have a hard time with this but for those of us that are just like you know what get me in the water i want to be in the water and I'm, it's not a sailboat so it doesn't have to be smooth it's a power boat so if it was perfectly perfectly smooth what how many more knots would i get how much fuel mileage am i really going to save what 
10, 20 bucks for the season. Not worth it. Let's put on a nice smooth coat. Keep the barnacles off. As you see, saw from earlier in the video, really wasn't any barnacles on the paint. The only place I had barnacles was on um, the metal that didn't get the, the prop treatment. Um, so I got some special paint. The paint I used on it last year, it didn't work, it didn't work good. So I'm, I'm gonna put some special paint on my skeg and um, on the uh, prop shafts, I'm gonna use the prop shaft stuff. And I should keep the barnacles off because that did good last year. We're getting there, we're almost done. Workout. Eight, nine, ten. Drop my keys inside of my suit. Keys fell out of my pocket inside of the suit. It's way too many distractions. Gotta continue working. It's done. The most rewarding part. Not bad for a 1976 sportfish. She's as old as I am. The first coat took the longest. The second coat was just a quick one and done. Now I just gotta strip the uh, tape off the back. See, it's looking good, it's looking good. I like the blue. I don't know who picked the blue. Some of you all picked blue. I like the blue. I got extra work to do, finish taking off the rest of this tape, and then um, do the props next. And then we still have all the woodworking. All that finish needs to be redone. Buff it, repair the tear up there on the, pla on the icing glass from the wind. It's quite a bit, a little bit of work, but the rest I can do while it's in the water. The big stuff, big stuff's all done. So that's what matters most. All right, hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Solitude and Sailing. We'll catch you on the water. Just as always, fair winds following seas. Now for the sport fish, doesn't matter. You can go out in any kind of wind. Fair winds, no winds, be calm. It don't matter, as long as you're out there. All right, take care. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this episode of Solitude and Sailing. See you next time.